Hey, hello YouTube, this is Stefan with Rip City Baseworks, and this video will show you how to flash Android 7.1.2 NuGet onto the uh, Galaxy S2 Hercules, um, aka the T989. And uh, as per usual, you need to download and extract all the files I've linked in the description. There should be a T989 folder, platform tools folder, and an Odin 307 folder. Okay, and once that is done, you're going to want to boot into uh, download mode for Odin. So it's different for these devices. It's um, volume up and along with volume down, and then plug in the USB cable. Don't touch the power button at all. And then just volume up to continue. Okay, and now you're going to be flashing... Um, stock jelly beam uh, firmware so this is so that to make sure you have the latest modem and so that for troubleshooting if you make sure you have the same you're starting from the same place that i am so choose pda on odin and then you're going to want to go to the uh, uh, t989 folder and you're going to want to choose the uh, weirdly named one, I guess. <laughs> and just hit start. And this also takes longer than, um, if you're familiar with like the i9100, it takes a lot longer for some reason. So expect to take 10 to 20 minutes on this. Oh, and also something weird, um, it doesn't have a blue bar in download mode when it's downloading for some reason that kind of threw me off so then I'm just going to be rebooting and you're going to want to go over to the t989 folder so close out of Odin and go to that you're going to be copying uh, files over so once you have it all set up you're going to want to go to um, a USB map well you're going to want to erase the uh, USB storage if prompted, which it seems to do that for this device for some reason, I'm not sure why. And then um, you're going to want to go to USB mass storage, so plug in the micro USB cable. And you're going to be copying over uh, TWRP 2 point whatever and then TWRP 3.02. So I'm just opening it in a new window to more easily show you. So just put it somewhere in the internal storage, doesn't really matter where. Um, as, long, as long as you can find it easily. Okay, and now you're going to want to turn off USB mass storage. And you're going to want to uh, power off the phone. Okay, and now you're going to want to uh, boot into Odin mode again. So volume up, volume down, and plug in the USB cable. I'm just opening up Odin on the computer. Okay, and same process again with Odin. Okay, now this time you're going to want to go to PDA and you're going to want to load the uh, Open Recovery TWRP 2.4.4 and start, and this should be a lot faster than previously. And then you're going to want to immediately remove the battery so that, so that doesn't boot the system and overwrite the recovery. 
and then you're going to want to boot into recovery mode, which is again different from what is standard from Samsung. So it is um, volume down, volume up, and the power key all at the same time, and then you release them all once the Samsung screen appears. And you should have a Team Win Recovery Project opening. And now we need to uh, install the uh, version needed in order to start the process of repartitioning the device, which in my opinion is a much better process than for the i9100. Like this one's very fast, very easy. So I'm assuming the standard factory reset. Now you're just gonna go to install, uh, choose the 2.02 and flash it. Now you're going to want to reboot to recovery. Okay, and now the fun part. You're going to want to not do a factory reset. You're going to want to select um, the internal SD card and you're going to want to change file system and do ext4. I'm just closed mode in the background. Okay, now you're going to want to return to the main screen, do a factory reset. And that error is standard, it's normal. Now you're going to want to do ADB side load since we just did raise the entire internal storage. So you're going to want to go to the platform, platform tools folder. And I'm just opening uh, the downloads in a new window again. And you're going to want to move over um, TWRP 3.02. And you need to open a command prompt, uh, change the directory, so just copy and paste the directory you're in. So CD, and then the directory, and then just hit enter. Okay, and now you're gonna wanna copy the file name and I'll have the command links in the description also. So it's adb side load and the file name dot zip. And you need to make sure you actually have the USB cable connected, otherwise you're going to have issues. So I'm doing it properly this time with the USB cable inserted. And then ADB side load. And now you can just hit the uh, up arrow key and it'll go back to the previous command and then just enter. And that should be pretty quick and then you're gonna to wanna to reboot to recovery. Do not install. And don't worry if it lags a little bit, I'm pretty sure that's normal. Okay, and it should boot to a newer, much nicer looking version of uh, TWRP. Um, I'll swipe to allow modifications. Okay, now very important, you're going to want to go to mount. And then uh, uncheck data and then check data again. And the repartition is complete. It's that easy. And then you're just going to do a factory reset. And you shouldn't get any errors this time. And then you're going to want to go back to ADB side load. Make sure the USB cable is connected. <laughs> And now we're going to actually be installing the ROM and uh, G apps. So this is the most stable ROM I found for uh, the Hercules. It's uh, just the unofficial Lineage OS 
and I have the accompanying OpenG apps ARM 7.1 Nano with it. So the commands will just be linked in the description. Uh, this comes pre-rooted, so do not flash SuperSU or Magisk or anything like that. I'm pretty sure Magisk is actually supported in this device, but I don't recommend it unless you really need it. I haven't tested it at all, so... Okay, and now you're going to be doing the same for gapps, so just ADB sideload again. And then you can just copy the command from the description, or you can just do, just copy the file name like I am. And just ADB sideload, and then the file name .zip. And don't be worried if these take a while, they can take anywhere from 10 to 20 minutes each, so. Okay, and now I'm just going to reboot the system and verify that this is indeed, and that I don't know why it does that, but it, the OS is installed, so don't, don't pay any attention. So after I skipped ahead, here is the system, uh, just pretty standard uh, lineage OS interface, and about phone. And it is indeed 7.1.2 NuGet. Okay, now I'm going to show you how to access root. So just hit the build number five times. And then go to developer options. And it, for some reason it lags on this. I'm not sure why, but besides, the ROM's pretty stable. I've tested it pretty early. Like the camera works on like the other ones. I don't know why it doesn't work in Paranoid Android. But works fine in this and then developer options for root and um, it's disabled right now you can have all those options for it and that's about it